Hello and welcome back. I took a small break in between recordings. And I'm I'm feeling sleepy right now, but I want to keep playing. As for sleep, Henry's got to sleep right now. I want to sleep and save though. There we go. It's been a while since I've saved. Now I don't know what I'm going to do next. Probably the main quest. Or I'll probably speak to Peshek or whatever his name is. Beautiful. Hey there, Peshek. I got something to talk to you about, my friend. Why am I not? Oh, I'm overloaded, yeah. Yeah, I got something to talk to you about, my friend. God be with you. <sighs> All right. I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow oh. like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. That could be useful. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. I've got some goods Finally. here. His owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Ooh, a treasure map. The rule of St. Nicholas. Oh, skill book on pickpocketing. I forgot that was in this game. Huh. A dagger. Oh, beautiful. I'm a very wealthy individual. Yeah, I guess I could sell these. I'll be able to afford my own gear soon enough. My own armor set. I'm going to keep these. I did not read that book. I should have read it. Are these skill books? Hmm. Stop it. Cycle. There we go. Beautiful. I'd like to read these books one day. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Hey, 225, 265. Let's go for 285. Two. Yeah. Make offer. Satisfied? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Can't wait till my speech craft is up. Aye, that would do it. Nice. We just made so much money off that haggle. Beautiful. Who's up here? I'll come with huh? you. Yo. That's weird. My chest? 
think it is my chest. Hey, hey, get off me! What are you doing? You freak! Sort by weight. I guess I can put this mace away and this... Uh, I think spade is a good thing to have on me. Do I need a torch? Yeah. Put this scarf away. Put one pair of gloves away. I'll put these two away. Because they're stalled. I'll sell a bunch of stuff at the town. Damn, I'm feeling rich, bro. I'm feeling rich. Alright, so today is going to be a long day for young Henry. I believe he's going into town to speak to Sir Radzig. Hatted coif has got to be better than a coif. We'll sell that. How's my character strengths? Three? Okay. Very nice. A fine day to go outside. I've also got the other quest I could do. Let's go over a quest really quick. We've got Awakening, Seradzig, Perkstein, Vengeance, The Good Thief. Okay. I want to go to town. Maybe I can get a horse or something to make my questing easier. Because I, I think that... Oh yeah, that's far away. I could get some of these treasure maps, too. Why is my HP bar low? That's uh, strange. How's my HP? 100? Okay. Have I eaten? Have, to have some mead? Right. Can, I, can I become an alcoholic in this game? That'd be fun. Fantastic. A new level in drinking. Might as well drink in this game. But what does drinking do? Where is it? Drunkenness. Good enough. We shall nourish Henry and keep him in good spirits. After all, he's been through quite a lot. Also, hmm? trolls. Make sure... Maybe I can turn my mouse sensitivity down even more. Because it's still... You know, it's just my habit to look around like a maniac in video games. I like to move slower so that it's more cinematic. And just better for footage. I used to run at like 3,500 to 4,000 DPI. When I used to play games. And... Uh, Now I've finally dropped it down to like, I think a thousand DPI. So I've, I've slowed down over the years, but I think it's better. Like I was trying to turn into an arm aimer to be more accurate in FPS games, but I actually think it hurt my accuracy. Because when I turn my sensitivity back up, I'm probably better than I used to be, or than I, than I am currently. Oh ho! flower picking yeah I was debating on whether or not to record another video for today but I just want to keep playing right I've already recorded like two hours worth of footage and I just want to keep going Ooh, fast travel look at those fields and that that forest god Oh, I'm drunk. That's why my camera swing. I was like, oh! Do I have any stolen stuff? Oh, 
Well, I'm sure I'll have a bite to eat. Anyone here? Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzi Kabila of Thwoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? And what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. It's interesting how a lot of the time talking gets me through, even though my Henry's not that good at talking. Ah, oh, beautiful. Whoa, tipsy. Read this. Camping. God, that's a long... Uh, wow. I would never realized that there was a codex in this game. Huh. I want to read this. Maybe I could read, like, one of these passages her video in the future so that I could oh dice if you okay we'll, we'll read a passage um if you if it's boring skip ahead it's YouTube dice if you want to try your hand at gambling it's possible to play the dice game of Farkle in every respectable tavern Farkle the goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown, and the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one or five thrown. Okay. And for three or more of a kind of any number, scoring is as follows. Okay. A player's turn always begins by throwing six dice. The player then uses E to select and set aside scoring dice, and at least one die must always be set aside. Then the player can throw the remaining dice, again using F, and the situation repeats. Scoring combinations are counted only for the current throw, not the entire turn. The key element of the game is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over and all points scored up to that throw are forfeit. Huh. Interesting. So you have to score at least once. It is then the opposing player's turn to throw. For that reason, it's best to end your turn using Q before the risk that not a single die will score gets too high. Sometimes it's better not to set aside all the scoring dice you've thrown, so you stand a better, ch better chance of scoring higher on the next throw. Since each, since each player uses his own dice, there's also an opportunity to cheat, but finding loaded dice isn't so easy. The Devil's Head is a die with a side with one side functioning as a wild joker, along with a pair of any other number, it forms three of a kind. Two ones in a devil's head is 1,000 points. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we've learned about dice. I was pretty good at it last time I played. That was a long time ago. Oh my god, those rocks, bro. Look at those rocks. Look at them. God. It's like they took a picture of a rock wall and put it right in front of me. Let's go and see the Scallets people. I believe that I had a bed here last time I played. I guess I was... 
of horror. Hello there, sir. Hello there. Hal! What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Ratzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. <laughs> I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You trick them nicely. See you later. <laughs> Hello? Please? What's happening? At least I saved recently. Um, I'm scared to talk to her now. Let's try again. What are you here for? Oh! <laughs> uh. How does life in Ratai <laughs> Real-time cutscenes. It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But the bastard! We We've got nowhere else to go. The bastard! Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Isn't she a little old for Baron? <laughs> he seems like a young fella. Who is this? Why are you waking me? Go away. Ah? Let me be. Go. Go away. Leave me alone. Oh, Pink. Oh, oh my God. What the fuck? Like, I think this was where I used to sleep? Or... Huh, maybe it's changed? I wish this game had like a ridicule for stealth like Skyrim does. Good day to you. What do you need? It may do. It may actually have that. Bailiff is always on our backs, bastard. But what can we do? We've got okay. no... Nothing. Same voice line. Oh, are you waking me? Go away. Okay, I could probably put sleeping potion in there. all of this. Take all of this loot. This good loot in this very high-end area. Hey. How you doing? Good day to you. What do you need? You just called me, my friend. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? Sounds awesome, bro. Sounds awesome. Right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazder of the Guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. 
No. I, I'm not giving him my own money. I'm fuck. I, I'm gonna get the good shit. Look out. Come on, go this way. Under the bridge. Like, look at all this detail right here. Look at all this cluster. Like. Such a unique little place. Unlike anything you've ever seen anywhere else. Hello. Can you speak to me? Are you a zombie? G'day. What do you want? Oh, she looks like a zombie in the cutscene. That's just how she is, I guess. No oh, thanks. Alright. So this is where that guy harassed me when I came in at night. My respects to you. Okay. God be with you. Oh. This is a named oh, NPC. No, my God, no. Let me sleep. God, I am eating like a pig today. Whose towel it is, though? Yeah, I'd be pissed if someone was annoying me when I was asleep, too. It happens all the time. Hey, Whoa. halt right there. Show me what you have on you. Well, why? Such are my orders. So if I say don't bother me with this, he probably will win. If I say, do you really want to search me? I assume he doesn't actually want to search me, so that's probably the best option. But then again, it's his job. So I'm going to wait until my reputation probably gets a little better. I'm just going to say search me. That's why I left all the stolen stuff at home. As you wish. Hmm. All right. You can go. Thank you, my good man. Thank you. You're very kind. I like how... Alright, so I'm conspicuous to an extent. And that's why he ran up to me like that. I need better clothing so that I don't look like a poor... Basically, that's what that's what happened right there. So if I'm going to thieve, I have to look good while I'm doing it. I'm glad I encountered that. What do you want? Sure, why not? Let's let's get some info on in the lay of the land. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanush is his guardian until he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. Even better if them damn refugees would only vanish. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scarlet's is a pile of ashes and the countryside ain't safe. But they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers. And not oh. one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. No, there's there's no way any of the Scarlet's folk have light fingers, right? It doesn't run in the village. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wives' tales, but I heard truly terrible things. Oh, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, miss. Bye. Thank you for the information. Hello, friend. No, I'm not giving you my money. I'm going to actually do it. Townsman. Hello, Townsman. To what do you need? Eh, same Hello. dialogue. Different perspective. I've been thinking about turning the quality of the footage up a little bit, up in the bitrate. 
Um, I see like a little bit of light stutter here and it could be I'm not sure what would cause it here. Not motion blur. It would probably be vegetation. See if we turn vegetation down. Yeah, there we go. The little stutter or the slight like jankiness when I was moving my mouse. Oh, it came back. It may just be like an FPS drop as I'm turning my camera. Hmm. See what post process actually does. Oh yeah, we need post process. Oh wait, that looks kind of good. Well, let me see what that actually does. I thought post-processing was like affected the quality a lot. I'm seeing like a little bit of a difference. Like this NPC right here is blurry when I move. So I'm going to turn that back up. Maybe I'll change this, this, and this slightly, and turn this back up to ultra. Maybe it's like objects popping in when I turn my camera. That may have been it. Yeah, it may have been objects popping in as I turn my camera. Oh, it's him. Wait, that's not him. Where is he? Was that a random encounter? Are you telling me the guy that I got into a fight with here was not a scripted encounter that was random? Ah, huh. interesting. What is this store right here? I know I'm taking a lot of time, but I'm just exploring as I as I go so that I know where everything is. And this is just how I approach games. I kind of do the lawnmower thing. Oh, I kind of pretend like I'm mowing a lawn, you know, and I just go back and forth and just kind of like I searched that side of the street. Now I'm doing this side. Now I'm going to do this side, then I'll probably do that side, you know? So this, this is a sign, so that means that's a shop. Hello there. I am also a, a blacksmith. My respects to you. Thank you, my chubby friend. God be with you. No shaming, though. I didn't mean anything by it. Okay. Now it's not a private area? Now it's not trespassing? Interesting. I mean, it kind of makes sense that my FPS would be slightly lower in the biggest town in the game. Hello, my good man. Are you gonna search me? Felt like that guard was eyeing me up. I guess I'm a newcomer in this area. Maybe we could get a good weapon that's not stolen. Ooh. Ooh, I quite like the idea of a hunting sword. Or maybe like. Hmm. 
I could have easily kept that stolen sword, but I, I didn't want to lose it. You know? Hello. I didn't mean anything by coming behind the town counter. I was just checking out your wares, my friend. All right. Let's talk business. Good day, what do you need? I need a small, cheap sword that will act as a good personal defense weapon. How much is repairs? Hmm. Okay, not bad. Top trade. So why is this axe so much more expensive than this sword when it's higher, it's lower damage? Interesting. A bar dish. I could afford that. How does this work? I feel like this is a consumable. A dagger. I could, I could use a dagger. Um, I'll add that to my basket. I might get given a sword, so... And I've got that mace, so I'll just hold off on buying one. Ooh, that's the sword I sold. But it was stolen, so... Makes sense. I'd like to discuss the price. But I kind of want to check if he had armor as well. if I can't get him down to this. We're just going to grease the wheels. Well now, a little more and we'd shake on it. And work on our speech craft a little bit. Everything's a skill. What about this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. I've never actually worked on a skill in a video Finally, game, a like a, a speech stuff. craft skill in a video game before. This is like the only game I've ever played that felt like it was worth it, you know? But then again, as I'm uh, doing a thief run, it probably won't be worth it for long because thieving is just OP. I kind of like the idea of doing like a no thieving run for wheeling and dealing. A merchant run, that would be cool. Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. Hello, hello. Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup what for the What do spring. you want from me? Asparagus for taste and fruit what? for what ails you. Try them. I guess I need better clothing. What are you here for? To get respect from these people. God. Or maybe I could do an alchemist playthrough, where I play as a wandering alchemist. Bread. I don't know. Bread. All right, Taylor. The Taylor is not open. Make you and your family happy. Onions that'll make you cry, and garlic that'll keep evil spirits at bay. It may be too early. That's those halberds right there, are very strong. And uh, the Taylor just opened his shop. It's a cool helmet as well. Sorry for bothering you, mate. He, he glanced at me. Yeah, he glanced at me. He's paying attention. Not sleeping on the job. Hello! How are you doing? I'm in need of clothing that won't make people hate me. Excuse me as I take a look around your shop, my friend. Huh. I think the Lords of Lipa is a DLC 
be interesting. Be very interesting to, uh, to play the DLCs. I've never played them before. Good health to you. Hmm. So what skill is this? Repair, sure. Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Try and haggle to 53. Sorry? Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. Oh, I'm going to need to go like 56. Is this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. All right, I'll Agreed. meet you. Now listen up. Good. I didn't realize that that would give me a level. I thought it would actually teach me. Um, so I just got a new perk point for speech. Okay. Final offer. That was probably loud, wasn't it? It would be... I wonder if OBS has like a equalizer to keep the volume of the microphones like even. So I don't have to worry about like highs and lows and pe blowing people's eardrums out. Okay, that seems like a really good idea. I, I, the thing is, is I don't know if these people are highborn or lowborn. I think highborn would work better, would be like give me more advantages. But at the same time, most of the shop sellers are probably lowborn. So I'll get this. My first perk I've learned. Where did my vitality perk go? A oh, sprinter. Clinch master, I'm coming for you. All right. <laughs> All right, my good friend. I am looking for gear. Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons? I didn't want to. I didn't want to start that. Sorry. Maybe another time. Well. All right. Let's talk trade. I need gear that will make me not look like shit. <laughs> how expensive is this? Oh my god. What the f I thought you were a tailor! Come on. Anything. Something that's cheap that'll make me look good. And not conspicuous anymore. I guess it's not happening. Well, I'm sorry. I'm too poor to buy your gear. Maybe you should price it better. You bully. I'll be back in the middle of the night. I will strike. I've lost everything. My home, my family, my livelihood. Be merciful. Good, Good day to you. What do you need? Trouble at home. You overheard us. She's a good woman. Normally we don't quarrel. <sighs> Is there some way I could help you? I'm credibility itself. I'm sorry, Henry, but my good luck to you. I'm sorry. I broke a fucking 
<sighs> but is the tailor back here? Is this the clothing guy? Oh, okay. How convenient. A late opener, aren't you, my good man? This is exactly what I needed. Exactly. Something cheap, something good. God be with you. Beautiful. Alright. Let's see, what's my cheap the cheapest stuff? A Sassal Waffenrock. Waffenrock. A Talmberg Waffenrock. Kind of like this one. Kind of like that one, actually. That one seems good. I'm currently wearing a uh, not even wearing a gambeson right now. That's nice. if that's for like a woman's lot DLC because I don't remember that being in the game last time anything else I can get a basket this should help me out we do slightly a little bit naturally All right, that's about what I normally go. Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Stuttered a little bit there. Is this enough? We'll hold firm here. Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Since it's you, I'd almost shake on that. Almost. It's holding firm. That's a sum I can live with. Huh? Are you a ma'am? Good day. What do you want? You're having fine clothing. Let's talk trade. Lord, watch over. Is this the same stuff? She's got some different, I believe. Look at cheap. Okay, you know what? I'll get I'll get a linen shirt. Clothing shopping. It's not like I have any other clothes. Can we do something about the price? Naturally.
What do you say to this? Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. Agree? Oh, I'd final offer. Almost. Great. Very well. I agree. Perk already paid for itself. Already. Alright, let's change clothes real quick. Wash ourselves. So that we look good for Radzig. So Radzig of Kobala, whatever his name is. I should have sold my my gear. Wash my clothing. Oh, I have to go to the uh, bathhouse, don't I? They wash clothing. Wasn't there something up here? Ooh, those stairs. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe there's nothing up here. Based on the stair climbing animation right there. I'm not sure I go fast up and down. I just took damage from those stairs as well. It's a nightmare. This is it. Isn't the alchemy station back here? Is there a door right here? Oh, I'm back. Yes. I should open that door from this side. It's not like I'm trespassing. Oh. Hello, my friend. Heavens, Don't... lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm feeling as good as new. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. About that debt. It'll take me a while longer. I understand. There's no hurry. I'm sure you'll honor your debt. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. This is worth it. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Agree? Well, now, a little the more. The final offer perk is so good. It's changed my entire gameplay loop. My last offer. Come now, just a little more, and we have a deal. Agreed. Now listen up. I'd like to be trade. Weird. All right. Dogs will not bark at you. Oh. Huh. 
Okay. Aches and bones. Agility. Lazarus. Health dispels a hangover. Okay, interesting. I might want one of these actually. <laughs> might want this as well. Where is it? Or save your snaps. Three hundred and ten? Bro. What can I do with moonshine? Ugh. I think that you can craft in this game without a recipe. Moonshine, what does this do? Maybe I'll maybe I'll brew some moonshine. Brewing and stewing, huh? Might as well. Maybe I could sell it. Ooh, that's a lot. Damn it. Are there any recipes that aren't expensive as fuck? <sighs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. Put that sword away. Have a good day. Not gonna mess up my reputation with him. Actually, he's a shop guy, so I should talk to him really quick. Even a little further. About Ratai. Hey, those are the same dialogue options I'm used to. Oh, 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 you motherfucker. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? It's him. If this is the dude that got me killed over the torch. You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father. And he's dead. So get out of here. You want another beating? No, I don't. So, what about the debt then? Fine. I owe you. What am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got! But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. So, the way he interacts with you is different based on whether or not you used your three friends to beat him or if you beat him solo. Interesting. Alright then. Start he shows talking. you more respect. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. No way. No way. This smells as fishy as a weak old cart. Then, I don't know what I can do for you. About that money you owe me. <laughs> if you like, maybe something could be done. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. I like no. a debt collector. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. All right, I'm going to cross my fingers. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it, 
It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cuts could there be in Scalix? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. You'd better be telling me the truth, Kunish. Hello. God be with you. Got nothing good. Ah. Save your snaps. I think even if you can craft potions in this game, I'm going to. I'm going to not open. Or not craft any potions that I don't have the recipes to yet, to keep it fair. Because that's just how- it's just better to play the game like that. It's more fun. For me, personally. Alright, what is this? The Butcher? Oh, hello there, guard. At ease. Hello. Are you the butcher? Or is that guy, that jolly man walking out Good back? Good day. What do you want? Why did she say it like that? Am I ugly again? Hmm. Meat. Is that all you got? Have I robbed this place in the past? I don't remember, to be honest. God be with you, good sir. And with you. Good luck to you. What are you watching me for? Do I do I look like the type Something of person? Something you're looking for here? You should mess with. Yeah, yeah, I I, I guess I look like a pushover, yeah, you're right. You got a nice there? axe there, my friend. Hey? Chill, chill, bro, chill. What's with these overly aggressive guards? It's like they know. What was that noise? Is there something you need? What the fuck? They just heard the dog barking and came over, I guess. Crater. I thought this was an inn. Very nice. Let me see what you got. Good day to you. I too am a traitor. I trader, not traitor. Ooh, he's got his stuff a little higher. A wounding arrow. Whoa, 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 what did I just do? Just stealth shit and get it out of our inventory. That's not worth it. Not worth stealing. Or by weight. Oh, well, that. Keep that, keep that. I could drink that.
for that. Maybe we could trade for some lockpick. Of course, a reputable trader like this wouldn't have lockpick. Can we do something about the price? Hi. But that he was a true trader. Since it's you. A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. See, that right there is what All you right, gotta so. look like. To not get ha what hassled by the guards all the time. Gotta look like him. Fresh produce. Good health to you. I'm like a tourist. This is exactly what they mean by you can spot a tourist from a mile away. Because they walk around doing that. Looking around with their jaw dropped. Look out. Did I become a baker too? What are you here for? <sighs> I God bless. Milk. Sweet pancake. Maybe I could have a pancake. I'll, I'll buy a pancake. Give me a pancake. A little peckish. Not really. I overate today, but... Where is the inn at? Right in here? Maybe it's in here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's the inn. Needs back on the menu, boys. It may be a little early for a drink, but that never stopped anyone before. Where is the animal at? Come, 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 come. Okay. Oh. A fine bed. It's in here. Hello. Good day to you. What do you need? You're having information, my friend. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? I've got other things on my mind. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? I've got other things on my mind. <laughs> He's busy right now, I guess. Have a word about the price. Naturally. Naturally. Finally, a man that speaks my language. Agree? Come now. Just a little oh, more. Oh, it's only one groschen, mate. It may be 20%. Agree? That's not enough. Aye, that would do it. Great. I love having the final choice perk. Where's the dice table at? Wanted to play some dice. Hmm. 
but it's up here in this person's house. No, never mind. What quest am I doing right now? A lot of quests. I'm going to try and steal from that guard. I don't really want to do it because it's scary. But it should be easy since it's a starting quest. God be with you. I find shoes. I've got some decent shoes. Hmm. I'll come back in the night. Where's the main road at? What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burnt to ashes by Sigismund's hordes. God be with you. Please, not the same dialogue. Okay, whatever. I'm sure their dialogue will change in a little while. These what names. Do you want? May the Lord watch over you. Here it is, my favorite tavern with a dice board for sure. Let's get started. Get started early. I'm sorry. Okay. Codex. Dice. We're looking for ones, fives, three of a kind. Two through six. Try out dice. Huh. No one wants to play dice right now. I guess it makes sense. It's it's early in the morning. Oh, that pig started talking to me for a second. What's happening? Is this a cutscene? Okay. So we've done quite a bit of exploring. Let's see if we can't pickpocket that guard. Get our friend's money back. That would be the optimum solution. We may end up losing money, but I think this is the introduction to pickpocketing, and I am a thief, so. What is this? What's happening here? Milan? Good health to you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you, you've got coin. Are there any rules? 
Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Got it. All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. I love fist fighting in these games. I love them. All right. We got ourselves a very interesting side quest going. It's, it's kind of like we're setting up for future videos, I guess, right now by doing thorough exploration. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to pickpocket that guy. Um, we're gonna go over to him. I believe we're at like an hour, over an hour on this recording. I want to keep playing. Genuinely. I wanna keep going. Maybe I can make it a two hour two hour recording or maybe I could stop it and upload to make space on my hard drive or something all right let me look at the journal really quick a good thief okay scavenger there we go we're looking for green green with an a I think I will end up stopping the recording because this is the third one I've done and I don't have a lot of hard drive space. We'll see if we have a chance with this guy though. Look at his location. Scout him out a little bit. Seems to be moving around. I don't really know how pickpocketing works in this game. There he is. Think he's going to notice me? Quite well. Good enough. We'll just chill. I'll chill until he gets up. I'll sit here. I'll wait for him to get up. And that's when I'll start the next recording, I guess. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day.